What's up, you YouTube? It's me, it's your iPhone Captain.com, and yes, it is finally arrived. Spring to my four, guys, for hours. In the Big Boss repo, now there are a few things you need to know here. If you have ever had Spring to Mice 3 in the past, it's a $1.99 upgrade uh, fee to upgrade to uh, Spring to Mice 4. If you've never had it, period, it is, I think, maybe $3.99 or $4.99. Uh, I'll have to check. To, I'll have all that in the description below. But just so you know, just don't think because you had Spring to Mice 3, it's a free update. Sorry, bust your bubble, guys. And I think that's bull, too, you know, but that's another video. Anyway, guys, let's dive in. Let me show you a little bit about Round Spring of Mice 4. Uh, I have been fiddling around with it. Basically, for the most part, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as before, but there are some subtle updates, and I, I shouldn't probably say subtle because, you know, with any update, the developer has to work really hard. And I understand that's probably why they want that fee. But here again, you know, they shouldn't make these promises when they don't deliver. Anyway, here we go. Animations. All right, now let's look at some of these animations for the lock screen, guys. Here you got blur. So I'll just go through a couple of these really fast and you see what happens. Uh, some of these don't require, I always use the old school one back, you know, I'm old school myself as I already said, but anyway, here we go back to animations, uh, and, and down here is one of my favorites, um, screenshot color. Now, when you take a screenshot, you can change the color. It's not that, just that big white flash anymore. In your page scroll, uh, as you can see, my favorite here, of course, you know, this is going to uh, eliminate you to have to install something like Barrel or Curl Away or what, 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 what was that other one called, that free one. Uh, anyway, Barrel, I know, is the paid one. But, you know, this is going to eliminate hundreds of tweaks, guys, and free up space on your device just by having this one tweak will, will eliminate you to, you know, things you might already be doing. And I'll show you what I mean. Just for a perfect example... I was using Reform X, which it was free, you know, but still yet it took space on my device. Down in the dock, what Reform X, I, what I used it for anyway, was to make the dock icons larger. Now I can use Spring to Mice 4 to do that. And if you're saying, well, how do you do that? Just go down here. I think it's under dock. Nope. Dock just lets you hide your background and, and your dock completely. But, uh... That feature may be under icons, under dock settings here, right here, resize. I got mine on 140. So if we put that on 185, look what happens. Look how blowed up that looks. And you can add different things to it, like cover flow, uh, which I do have on mine down here at the bottom. And that's why you see it's turned in and out, which I don't have a lot of that added to it. But just so you know, that's where all that is coming from. And that's dock settings, uh, app switcher. If you want to get rid of some of the things in here or resize your app switcher, the cards themselves, you can see right there. I have mine set to 80%. That way they don't take up the whole screen. If you want to remove that writing or that icon up at the top, you can do that. Very, very easy to do. Uh, and we'll go right back into app switcher settings right here. Go to control center. If you want to get rid of, I keep getting this pop up here. And I don't know why, because I've already purchased this. And but anyway, uh, you may be getting it yourself. Just I just keep canceling it out, and everything keeps working fine. But anyway, disable the control center completely if that's something you want to do. But one thing I do like here: if you don't use any of these settings right here, like night shift, I hate that. I don't use night shift. I use uh, Noctus, uh, and you can see right there I have not. Uh, it may require a respring to get rid of that. Actually, I'm not real sure, but I, you can hide that in your control center now. And you can also hide, let's see right here, hide sections, hide quick launches like down at the bottom, down here. If you had different things, you could, uh, which I can't see those because I'm actually streaming, and that's what that's probably causing that. But you can add a custom blur radius, it says here. Change the radius of the blur effect on Control Center. Uh, you can increase and decrease that, looks like. 
and I really don't see that much effect. So let's turn this all the way down. See what it does. Still don't see that much effect, but maybe it requires a respring. Anyway, in the dock, like I said, we already looked at that folders. Here you can hide folders and put folders in folders. Uh, you can hide folder names. You can make the, the backgrounds dark, which is something that I, that I always like to do. You can unblur icons, it says, fast open and close of the animation, make it faster, which is something I like. Icons. Here we go. We've already been into dock settings. Folder settings, you can resize those. You can add more padding. You can, there, you can just look, guys. You can add cover flow to your folders. There's just so much you can do with this. It's unlimited, and I would be here for hours taking and showing you every little thing, but I'm going to show you the big things. If you want to sort your uh, apps alphabetically, you can turn this on, but I'm going to warn you up front. When you turn that on and it sorts them, it's a booger to get them back the way you want them. So be sure that's what you're going to do because I did that once in the past and it still got me uh, bum puzzled sometimes trying to find it. You can lock the layout, which I do because sometimes I accidentally put mine in wiggle mode and things get put in there. So I'll disable wiggle. But that way you have to remember to come in here now when you can't turn the wiggle on to move something. Okay. You can disable uninstall and also down here, uh, you can hide apps. Now, you might say, well, what good is that? Well, think about it. What well, if you want to hide some of these uh, Apple stock icons like health or iBooks or, uh, you know, some people don't use all that podcast, you know, they're just tips. You know, I never use that wallet, uh, voice memos. I don't use those things. So I can actually hide those and not ever have to worry about it. But if you ever lose something, you can't find it, guys. Just go up there and hit that reset button, and you'll it'll put everything right back where it was, and you'll be good to go. Uh, on your lock screen here, you can hide your uh, your camera, your notification center, the now playing. And here, you can add label styles. Uh, you can even add time color, it says. There's just, it's phenomenal what this what all this includes. Uh, background color right here, uh, and you can see you can have it to be whatever you want it to be uh, on the notification center. So let's go to notification center and pull it down. Now I've got mine red. You see that there? Got it. Very, very cool. I like that. Now going back out, <clears throat> pages. Here's another big one. You can hide things. Uh, you can disable spotlight if you don't use it. You can prevent rotation. Uh, what that means is on your icons, if you don't want to turn your phone sideways, uh, which mine ain't turning for some reason, I must already have it locked. You can disable that. Uh, and st status bar, you can hide things up there. You can see I've already got the airplane mode hid, the airplay hid, uh, the carrier, the do not disturb. That location setting, that little triangle looking thing, I hate that damn thing. So I definitely want rid of that. It just takes space up up there that it don't need to have, okay? So definitely get rid of that. Uh, guys, here's the big one for this uh, Spring to My Eyes update. It's called Profiles. Now, what we can do here is we can call this one that I just set up. If you want to call it Mitch1, because I done got one called Mitch. Uh, Mitch1, hit save. Okay, now uh, if I go in here and change some things around and then use that particular profile and then want to go back to the one I just had, all I have to do is come in here and go to profiles, hit Mitch 1, hit apply, and it'll respring, no doubt. And I've got my uh, setup here already, already in place and I don't have to go through all those settings that we just looked at. It does it that quick, guys. So save these profiles. That way you may want to use them again in the past. Let me know what you think about Spring Demise 4. Are you going to get it? Did you like it? Do you think it's worth the update? Be sure to hit that thumbs up and share this on Twitter and Facebook. It really helps me a great deal. But most of all, guys, hit the notification button. I'm having some issues here on YouTube by people not getting my videos in their sub boxes. They're not being notified. So if you're not following me on, on uh, social media, 
you're not going to know that I have uploaded. And if you not, you can't tell by looking at my views, uh, they have plummeted. And YouTube keeps saying there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong, bullshit. Something's wrong, okay? Because I've had too many people email me saying that they're not getting my my uh, videos in their sub boxes. So be sure to hit that little notification bell button so you get that. And most of all, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And keep coming back.